Hello everyone, welcome to an exciting episode of Fix It Jim Remastered. I was going through my archive, my very small archive of videos, and realized they weren't really up to snuff. I was new to video editing and things weren't all that great, so um, take a peek and see what's changed and let me know if it's okay. Thanks. Today we're going to be working on a digital voice recorder. This is my wife's. One of the batteries ruptured and uh, we got a little corrosion inside there that needs cleaned up. Doesn't look like it really got on the innards, but uh, we'll give it a little clean and she will be back in business with her recorder. One thing to keep in mind is that a lot of people refer to this as battery acid. That's not quite correct. Uh, most home batteries actually use alkaline based batteries. So this would in fact be a base. Uh, to clean this up and neutralize it, you'll want to use something that is acidic like white vinegar. Some people you'll see say use baking soda, which would not be good to use on this. Most large batteries, like car batteries, are in fact acidic, and that would be the time you'd want to use the uh, baking soda. So, what we're going to do is get out the white vinegar. And then get out your Q-tips, dip it in the white vinegar, and just kind of rub it in here where the crystals and corrosion are. And this should neutralize it so it can't do any further damage, which it doesn't actually look like it's hurt anything. It didn't happen that long ago, so just kind of get down in the crevices there. You may see some foaming as it interacts with the alkaline. The crystals can actually cause, if they stay on long enough, they can uh, actually eat away at the shiny surface on the spring, which I'm guessing is a, like some kind of a nickel and can actually damage plastic too if left on long enough and enough gets in it. Fortunately, I'm not seeing any of that here, so. Take the dry end and clean out the excess. That looks pretty good. Next, you can get out a Q-tip that you dipped in some isopropyl alcohol and kind of clean up the contacts some more. This will get all the vinegar residue out. The alcohol displaces it and will uh, make sure everything's nice and not only clean, but it'll also make sure it's nice and dry. And I think that looks pretty good. He will be happy. Now we'll actually be doing fixes on this channel as well as taking stuff apart to clean them. Um, possibly some replacement stuff too. Um, I did get in the mail today um, my PlayStation Portable. I got a new shell for it. The other shell I bought it uh, used and uh, it had some problems so I fixed it well, I thought I fixed it. It's actually going to be another video, but when I replace the shell, I'm going to uh, also the left analog stick. I think it only has one analog stick, but the analog stick is actually pulling down. I didn't know that initially because I didn't have any games for it. Um, I actually got some games, and now when you play them, it basically the characters are kneeling in a down position the whole time and you can't really get them to do anything so um, I will get that sorted I'll replace the shell and uh, get that all nice I'll make a video of that um, have lots of stuff to work on and share with you as uh, we go along here and I hope you join us take care